What's up guys, welcome back to Xbox Reforged, and we're a little late on this video, but I recorded stuff for Hellblade 2 when it comes to Xbox Cloud Gaming and GeForce Now's Cloud Streaming, so I want to go in and take a look at these services and just kind of quickly talk about this experience and Hellblade 2 here on here. So, Xbox Cloud Gaming, you do need to have Game Pass Ultimate as a subscription to get access to it currently, that's the way it's been since it's launched. It does cap itself out at 1080p 60, and we're running it here on the PC app. It does, however, However, for that look really good here and on smaller screens like this Steam Deck and my phone and stuff where I play a lot of xCloud it looks pretty good but it doesn't have any options for adjusting bitrate or resolution we're running 1080p 60 and you can often notice some issues with your picture quality when it comes to Xbox Cloud Gaming. Now, as far as frame loss, though, this was pretty good. We had some hiccups and stuff like that, but compared to what Cloud was just a couple of years ago, this is a lot smoother and better than what it was. And the high fidelity UE5 game that Hellblade 2 is isn't represented too bad here when it comes to the Series X version here, streaming Cloud, but I am pretty close to a server with a really good setup here, so ultimately it works pretty well. Darker scenes can be a little bit rougher when it comes to the picture quality, and on YouTube it's hard to really show all this versus in person, but it's not as clean of an image as, say, GeForce Now. Combat feels fine, and as far as input latency, yeah, it's there, and it's going to depend on how close you are to the server, your own network setup, and all that. For some of you, it may be unplayable to parry and block and all that, but for someone like me with a good setup, it's absolutely doable. I can adjust within a few minutes of the small amount of latency that's added compared to my local here. Definitely... Decent setup for me, easy to do here, but for some people it may not be. And that's just the way that cloud goes. I've tested cloud for many years and it just can vary for everybody versus something that's consistent like local hardware. But ultimately I think Xbox Cloud Gaming does a pretty good job of letting us play these games on pretty much any device and get good enough quality to at least be able to experience a lot of these. And I think this game for anybody that latency isn't a problem, it's probably just fine. Now, let's take a look at GeForce Now. This is another great way to play Game Pass games. It's the best cloud gaming service there is out there. Feels the closest to local and looks the closest to local. And we have all these options for bitrate, resolution, and all of that. And we are going to run 4K. Uh, maxed out bitrate here for that so we can do a lot more with the image quality we're still on the pc app here but just like with xbox cloud gaming you can do this on pretty much any screen which is awesome and you have a lot more options and you can do the game pass version with xbox or the steam version which is great as well so this works out really well you do need to have a subscription for the rtx 4080 ultimate tier which is about 20 dollars a month from them but we get access to full pc settings just like we would if we were playing on a local pc no difference there there and we can even see our stats up in the top there telling us our game frame rate stream frame rate which i have them working together with cloud g-sync and of course our ping there and tells us a little bit about our latency so i wish they would add those kind of stats to xbox cloud gaming it would be helpful especially for videos but geforce now does a good job here picture quality and image quality here especially 4k for geforce now maxed out bitrate i'm always super impressed and this game runs great we can get way above that 30 fps we're getting on the series x high fidelity maxed out graphics here with dlss uh on 4k but still looking really good and clean here and a lot more detail and uh, a real joy to play this game on geforce now i really do enjoy it here especially a lot of my other game pass games as well darker scenes hold up pretty well too again these are areas where you'll see more of that pixelation or banding and stuff when you have fog and dark scenes and you'll notice it on any cloud gaming but I think GeForce Now here does the best job of mitigating that and giving you the closest picture quality they can these days for streaming locally. And as far as combat and everything, it does feel a lot better than Xbox Cloud Gaming. Of course, this is a lot better input latency uh, for me on GeForce Now. It always is, and a lot better image quality. So I can play either way, but it certainly is more enjoyable, especially when we get into combat later on in the game here on GeForce Now. Picture quality stays really nice. I rarely have any issues with that. Both services never really have any trouble for me when it comes to like disconnects and issues. I used to have a lot of that with cloud gaming, but these days I can be on for a couple hours and not really run into trouble with either one. But I certainly do myself love GeForce Now uh, the most, but I also use Xbox Cloud Gaming a good bit. Now, if we take a real quick look side by side so that you guys can see these here, Xbox on the left and GFN on the right, obviously there's a big difference when it comes to the detail just from graphical settings most likely and also especially from the resolution of our stream quality of the color and just all that geforce now just does such an amazing job 
uh, with games, especially games like this, uh, streaming through the cloud and at double or more the frame rate that xCloud is doing here. But both services do a great job of representing this game. But for those of you wondering the difference, I wanted to put a little bit of side by side here so that you could see that. But yeah, Hellblade 2 was a great experience. I actually really enjoyed playing through this game. And I did a lot of it on cloud with the Game Pass version. I really love that Xbox allows us to play our games on pretty much any screen we want to. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.